Hello, this movie is going to go over what causes a PPF to shift. So you've seen the other movies on production possibility curves, you understand that. But what can cause them to shift? So I've gone through a brief list and I'm going to show what happens. The first is a change in technology, economic growth or growth in the economy, natural disasters or any type of disaster really that will destroy um, capital in the economy or perhaps reduce the population like a plague or war and then investment versus consumer goods how that can change a PPF and so remember that when we draw our typical PPF it's a snapshot in time so we're holding everything else constant but if in the next time period say tomorrow or a year from now technology were to get better and we can produce more stuff then we'll see our PPF shift out. And so what goods we're producing doesn't really matter at this point because technology as a whole has gotten better or there's been economic growth in the economy so we can produce more of this shifts out. But what if we have a natural disaster like Hurricane Irene and some factories get destroyed? we'll actually see our PPF shift in because we can produce less goods. Also with war if they destroy some things. Now with the last one we have investment goods or capital goods versus consumption goods. So if we choose to consume today a lot of consumption goods like jeans and food then in the next time period we're going to have a very small shift out, limited growth in the economy. That would be if we consume a lot. But if we decide to invest a lot, either in technology or factories, then we get a big shift out and we see the PPF shifting out a lot more. And that's if we invest in 